Well, hello. Welcome to uh, episode number one of All Things Weldon. It's a balmy 27 degrees on the 27th of January, and we're going swimming. Let's go. For this adventure that we got to go on today, we need two items. Shoulder link gloves and a new pair of chest waders because we are going in that. So here's the deal. I've got two hog barns here. Both of them were originally flush system hog barns and I'll show you. We've got two tanks in the front of the barn. Each one of those tanks would flush water from one end of the barn to the other. What that did was it flushed the manure out of the barns. Well, over the course of time, the pH in the water or something in the water, uh, the recycle water, the stuff that's in the lagoon, what it does is it creates a salt-like buildup. Some people call it lime, some people call it calcium. I call it salt. I don't know what the actual professional chemistry term is, but we call it salt. So when you hear me refer to the, the word salt, that's what I'm talking about. So it builds salt up on the floor. Well, we had plastic channels that went down through uh, the entire length of the barn. What that did was divert the water. Over the time, those plastic channels just got smaller and smaller because the salt built up more and more. So our water got dispersed across the barn and they became ineffective. Not useless, but less effective. So in one of these barns, we put in a scraper system. What it is, is just a big scraper on a continuous loop co uh, cable. It runs from the top of the barn to the bottom of the barn. Pulls all the manure down. We're still running the flush tanks. We use the, the recycle water from the flush tanks to blow the manure and the water back out into the lagoon. For the last three weeks, we have had constant pit plug after pit plug after pit plug. And we know that we're forcing more solids down the, uh, down the pipe than we ever had before because we're pulling them down in one big swoop. We've had a sewer truck down here with a big jet nozzle on it. We've blown it through there. Every time we think we've got it, what happens is, is uh, it plugs again. So the only thing that we can figure is the end of this line is it's a six inch line the only thing we can figure is it's essentially salted shut now i've been out there in a little pink pedal boat we dubbed the ss manure marie i found the end of the pipe but just trying to get in there and work and feel on the inside of the pipe i can't do it because the boat wants to move around it's only about six or eight feet out in the lagoon and i'm hoping that the chest waders are going to be deep enough the goal of today's mission is go out try to feel the inside of that pipe and then make a determination what we're going to do, whether we're going to use a handsaw and try to cut it out of there, or if we're going to try to cap the line in some way and run sulfuric acid down it and dissolve it out. So I guess let's go swimming.
that's cold. I didn't get my glove taped up enough. It is right up. It's gonna get over my waders. Oh. Well, it's day number two of swimming in the hog lagoon. I was in it yesterday and I determined that uh, my theory had been confirmed and the end of that line is salted up. It's salted up about, best I could tell, about eight, ten inches foot up inside the pipe. It's not right at the end of the pipe. So uh, I didn't have any supplies or anything yesterday, but what I'm going to try is I think, I think that it's a six inch line. Everybody that I've talked to that runs the sewer trucks and other farms thinks that there's a six inch. So I got a six inch 90 yesterday. I'm going to get back in the lagoon again today and then uh, I'm going to try to get that 90 put on there and then put a standpipe on. We're going to use a transfer pump, hopefully pump the water out of it and then we're going to dump sulfuric acid and water down the line, let it set tomorrow and uh, um, set until tomorrow and then uh, go back out in the lagoon take the 90 back off and we should be up and running I hope in theory all of this is supposed to work 
in theory, uh, I don't ever want to have to get back in a shit lagoon again in my life. So we'll see what happens, but uh, we're going swimming again. It's a balmy 25. Actually, I don't know for sure that we are going swimming because it was three degrees overnight. It may be froze over hard enough. I may not be able to get in it, but anyway, let's go give it a whirl.
So I got the pipe on there. It's not on there as good as I would like, but it's as good as it's going to get. I don't know if you can see, but it went over my chest waders. It's not the type of pond that you want to have go over your chest waders. You go duck hunting, it goes over your chest waders. Ah, no big deal. You're just a little bit cold, but you're still hunting ducks. It goes over your chest waders and that, and you're just swimming in shit. we get it over the hole. That's good. to her all right suited up hopefully last time we're going in this cesspool let's get it you can see the foam that's the salt that we got out of the line Other thing, my chipper rod that I've been using to get out here with, I freaking left it out here and it fell over. Oh, there it is. Bubba little man, they were up over the top, out of the top of it too. I'm gonna try to find it. Chipper rod here. Where's my rock? I got a rock right here somewhere I stand on. There it is. Okay, there. That's what I want. go 90 came with it even didn't it yes oh yeah look at all the uh, look at the salt down in there I don't know if I can I'll get up here on the
get up here on the bank and get out of this lagoon. Well, I think I finally got it. There was a bunch of salt feed. There was actually uh, chunks of manure bubbled up on top of the, uh, the water. So whatever was holding it back disappeared and uh, in turn, let that manure come down. Uh, and there was some, some salt in the pipe and then that brown foamy stuff that was on top of the, uh, uh, the ice was typically what it looks like when the uh, the acid dissolves the salt so I think I think we've got it so now we're just gonna uh, get out of these waders go get a different pickup we'll get the lagoon pump primed and then uh, oh it'll take about an hour for the uh, flush tanks to fill we'll get showered in the hog barns and uh, flush it and see how it's gonna work does anybody else have those vehicles on the farm that you just can't you can't bear to part with I've got one. It's been dubbed, and rightly, rightfully so, Old Rusty. I bought this truck new uh, in 1995. It's a 95 GMC half ton. I bought it new, and uh, if this thing could talk, come on, old girl. Oh, yeah. If this thing could talk, I'd probably go to prison or. I probably wouldn't be married. You can uh, figure that out on your own. But uh, we use this to prime the lagoon pump. I'll show you how we do that. Let's go. All right, so what we'll do is we'll use this hose right here. We'll hook up to this standpipe. We've got a check valve on this. We'll hook the other end of the hose up to the brake booster line or the vacuum line on Old Rusty, and we'll use the vacuum to pull the manure or pull the lagoon water up. And again, there's a check valve in there. So when it hits that check valve, I'll feel it hit the check valve and I'll actually, I'll, I call it bouncing it. I'll bounce it two or three times. Then I'll hit the switch up here to kick the lagoon pump in. And by rights, we should be primed. So when I talk about salt in the line, this is what I'm talking about. This one I'm gonna show you came out of a discharge pipe of the flush tank. This is the exact same thing that I was dealing with underwater in the lagoon. That is salt buildup. You can see the contour of where it laid up inside that pipe. That is a beautiful sight. We finally got it. After two or three weeks of messing with this, wading in and out of the lagoon on cold January days, we finally got it. So that's gonna do it for episode one of All Things Weldon. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next time. Thank God that's over.